Well, greetings and salutations. Welcome to the start of a new story. What remains of Edith Finch? With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, we just finished up uh, Layers of Fear. Um, there is a DLC on that one, and we will pick that up pretty cool um it just slowly gets smaller off in the distance oh we can zoom in with that one okay our action button is the right trigger got it this isn't going to make sense to you and i'm sorry about that i'm just going to start at the beginning with the house Well, pretty cool um yeah it does allow to go to on pc to 1440p i lived here until i was 11 but i wasn't allowed inside oh. half the rooms really cool considering the age of this game um pretty awesome yeah just checking out the controls Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Hmm. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, interesting, the path kind of forks right there, so I'll just stick to the right path. Since this one's nice and somewhat paved. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Well, interesting. I see like a walk bridge up over there, but I don't see the other path. Ooh. Nice buck. A deer. A deer. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Wow, check out this house. Boy, it has been sitting for a while. I don't know about the very tippy top of that one, man. I hope, I hope we don't have to go up there. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Pretty cool. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. If you guys have been uh, following the channel, 
You know, I'm dreadfully curious about the... That fo oh, here's the path right here. Go up here and just go up here a little bit. I'm sorry. Gotta check it out. Got to do it. Yeah, my OCD won't, won't allow me to continue with the game without scoping this out. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Well, and supposedly just unlocked some sort of achievement, so there is achievements in the game. Okay, and that's the path from the road. Okay, we're good. Nothing wild and crazy back here. I've missed like a collectible or something like that. Hmm. Missing. Milton Finch. Hmm. So we have a missing, missing family member. Well, that made it worth to go back and see that then right there. Wow, there's another one. Mm, just his name. That's all you can make out of those. Wow. Who didn't have one of those, you know, off the garage or it's somewhere in the park? Can't tell you the number of hours you played with a metal rim hoop with no net. As a 17 year old, oh. I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Hmm. Wonder what went down at the house for her to be afraid. This was supposed to be a really chill story, so um, it had uh, very positive, overwhelmingly. Um, reviews on Steam. So, and everyone's like, I love the story, I love the story. So I, thought, I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, uh, that's a big negative, Ghost Rider. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. True. Okay, cool mechanic. Okay, let's go back around by the garage. Boy, you ever walk into an old house like that? And I don't know. Sometimes the certain things just talk to you. It's kind of like a really old tree. And you know it's like 2,000 years old. I'm like, man. The things that, you know, a tree has seen in 2,000 years. Let's see if we can... Does this open up? Can you climb up on this? Oh, that's kind of cool. You can, like, peek through that. The house felt like what? it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Okay, that's a bizarre mechanic. It's weird that you can walk all the way up to this hole and kind of like peek through it like that. Okay. Oh. What are we? Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. 
That's pretty crazy. I just assumed that she was going to try to use the key. But as I kept moving forward, she like kept leaning down and I'm like, oh, it's a donkey door. Got it, got it, okay. The tennis ball thing, that's hilarious. Yeah, a number of people wonder, it's like, why do you have a tennis ball hanging from? And it's so, as soon as your windshield touches the tennis ball, you don't accidentally drive into the back of the garage. Hmm. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Light switch. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh, we're not getting up there. But this is open. For the first time in years. Oh, so that looks like Mount St. Helens right there. You can see the heart that blew off during the eruption. At least to me it looks that way. I felt like I was home. So are we in Washington State? I wonder. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Well, in loving memory of Lewis Finch, 1988 to, wow, 22, passed away, beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great-grandson to Eddie, mm. memorial service, okay. So we got little Edith, Eddie, Lewis, and Don, okay. Some would think that's canned tuna, but that is actually canned salmon. I really think this does take place in Washington State. That is like a classic uh, canned salmon company that's... Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, well, there you go. Spot of blood on the recipe card. That looks like legit apple pie right there. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> Boy, they're, they're not bullshit when it comes to the salmon thing, man. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay, this is Washington State. That's Muckatiel Ferry. Logging, of course. It could be the San Juan Ferry. I don't know. Hard saying. Got quite a few that run around here in uh, the Pacific Northwest. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Wow. So her mother wanted to put Grandma in a home. Grandma, you just driving me crazy. It gots to go. We're putting you in the retirement home. Breaking stuff. Wow, okay. Unless that's just Chinese food juice. I don't know, sweet and sour. Oh, yeah, Pike's Market, downtown Seattle. Okay. I think, I think we covered it all in here. 
We're good. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. That is abnormal. I mean, abnormal in kind of a good way. Those are... As long as they're all straight, you know, not like crazy. Let's go back around there, check in that corner. I didn't realize it was blocked off. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Really? Well, they definitely like the outdoors. Kind of have to. Well, at least back in the day. Not so much nowadays. Um, yeah, it was a lot of camping, hiking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now it's just lots of people everywhere. It's packed. Hmm. Father was in the military? Maybe. What do we got here? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Oh, that's pretty cool. Barbara Finch on the movie set of Sasquatch. Bug collector. You can open this. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Interesting. Hey, I'll check this out real quick. Ah, uh, that's too funny. I mean, not like you guys care, but if you do want to know, that's called, uh, Deception Pass Lighthouse. Um, by Astoria, Oregon. There's a number of lighthouses around there. You can always Google Haystack Rock. I'll put you in the general vicinity. But Deception Pass. Not Deception Pass. Cape Disappointment. Deception Pass is up at Woodby Island. Sorry. But yeah, Cape Disappointment Lighthouse. That's what that looked like. What is this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but... She never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Hmm. October 23rd, 2003. Born in 92. Orca, Orcas Island. That's over by San Juan, Washington. Interesting. Okay. So we are in Washington State. Yeah, it's funny they had a picture of a killer whale because you used to be able to go whale watching. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Interesting. Yeah, but the whales, the orca whales, hardly uh, migrate up here anymore. So it's kind of hard to watch them. Calvin, 19, so 11. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Ooh. That's unfortunate. It sounds like uh, his little brother passed at an early age. 
And this is Gregory. One year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Well, I really like the fisheye effect that you get when you look through the people. Um, Sven and Eddie. 1950 to 64. 17, 1917 to 2010. Wow. Uh, died at 53. Unless it's down. No, 49. Holy crap. And then Grandma Eddie. Um... Yeah, 97. No, 93. Passed. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Cool. Yeah, that's me doing that on the fly. That's if somebody else wants to do the arithmetic, you can uh, put the correct gears in the comments section below. Thank you. I kid, I kid, but feel free. Pretty sure it was 49 and 93. Grandma and Grandpa passed. Ooh, shark room. I've seen this picture around before. Like at one of the history museums. It's crazy they got real pictures in here. Um, Molly, 37 to 47. 10 years old. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Wow. So we got a tragic, tragic family story already taking place. Okay. Let's just double check. Oh, we didn't go up around here. Barbara. Okay, we'll find out how old Barbara is in a second. Power cord. Mm, somebody's a big fan of their vino. Angel Latte Vineyards, Orange Tabby. That's so weird. They have like weird names for wines up here. Um, 44 to 1960. Wow. 26. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Oh, 16. That is crazy. Yeah, let's not, uh... Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. So that is great-grandfather. Odin. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Introducing Barbara Finch. Okay. Yep, mission accomplished. Let's go check out this door that is open. It looks like a giant aquarium. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Hmm. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Cool murals. Oh. What do we got going on Lewis here? told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Really? Pretty good. Oh, cool stained glass window up here.
Definitely. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. <laughs> okay. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Wow. Orcus Island. Yeah, it's, uh, it is spelled Orcas Island, but around here we just call it Orcus. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh, you can't look back out there. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Pretty cool. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Rainier. That is a great park. National Forest. Well, oh, we'll get that in a second. Take a look out the window. Molly with an octopus. And a trophy. Okay, let's go check out her journal. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Really? Her door's open. Oh, she's got goldfish. Check this out. Oh, she is tiny. Look. I thought about it. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. I got the door over there. Gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. little gerbil turds inside the bowl. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Hmm. Well, somebody must have been really naughty. One would hope for a mother to send their child off to bed with no food. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she's barely taller than the basin itself. The I kept sink. eating and eating. No. No. Ugh. That'll get you sick. That's an old toilet. How does she flush her toilet? I don't see a chain hanging down for her to pull down on that. Enough. You got to push the button way up there. Hmm. It can make life rough. 
I won't say a pet all you can the Poor girl. Now I feel bad for her. Uh oh. I ate a lot of things that night. Gnarly dude. I don't think holly berries are good for you. chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Suddenly, oh wow, I was a cat. What on earth? Let's let's leave the poor bird alone. Let me guess, she wants to chase the bird. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. The cat's purring. Oh, like it's ready to pounce. Yeah, I see the camera wobbling back and forth like it's just getting ready to spring out. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Yes, we hop down there. gonna go over just check out the edge of that limb oh there you are yoink no yoink i jumped and i almost got her i could tell she was getting really tired Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Those girls got a bizarre sense of entertainment. I gobbled her up. Whoa. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Didn't chew one bit. Uh -oh. Then I flew off to find some 
It's too long. I guess we gotta go all the way around. and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh, now we're gonna chomp on a seal? Boy, PETA was not happy. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper. Tasted really good. My precious. Oh, there it is. The blood. Grabbed on tight. Oh, when I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What on earth is this? Looks like an eel. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. <laughs> a monster eel, okay. We don't get to eat the bird. Oh, can't go underneath that car. Guessing we can't go underneath that car. Okay, I guess actually up the stairs we go. human. Let's see what's over here. 
Oh, that's crazy how that coils onto itself. Go this way. Yep, we went that way. Okay, let's go back up the stairs this way. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Closer and closer. It's like anacondas in Florida. Oh, we're in her own bedroom. What's underneath the bed? Because there's a light on underneath the bed. Oh, my stomachs. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. 
I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. That is crazy. Hmm. Pacific Ocean depth chart, huh? Coast Guard boat. School of Tudor. A cat. I don't remember this being open. Hmm. It doesn't open now. That's weird. I don't remember this cabinet being open. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Oh, it's almost like everything is a painting here. The clouds almost look like watercolors. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Interesting. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh, well, big fan of bird cages. Oh, these are all the birds that she had. 17 years. Man, this one lived. Oh, it's a freaking iguana. Jeez, no wonder. Because I was like, hmm. Some birds don't have very long lives. Guy, Lurpy, huh? 11 years. Oh, she's a big fan of parakeets. Purpley. 16 years. 11. So Purpley had a pretty good long life compared to his friend. And this is Furpy. Can't really make that out. Looks like 88 to 91. Another 13 years. Definitely liked our parakeet. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my oh, mom. Wow. It's a quail derpy. We have a grouse. Pigeon. Thirteen years again. Four years. Ooh, snake didn't last long. Eight years. Looks like a canary, maybe. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Don, Gus, Gregory, Lewis, Milton, Edith. Her room was like a museum. Odin. 
For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. No, they put their house on a boat? That's crazy. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Holy cow, man. How well constructed was that house in order for it to bend over Odin's like that? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. They pronounced it correctly. Orcus. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Part of the house sticking up out of the ground, that's crazy. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Finches. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Boy, and Odin died in pretty early, too. Was that 20... Oh, 57? I guess not too, not too bad. Still a little early, but who knows for back in those days. The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter by Senior Odin Finch. That's Odin Finch up there. Right? Lewis, 88 to 2010. 22 years old. Wonder that's supposed to be Lewis, right? <laughs> it's older than 22 there. Oh, G Ma was rocking the oxygen. She took her last bit of medication on Tuesday. Finches. Okay, got it. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Built in 1937. Sven Finch. 72 year old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. One summer they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Interesting. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> That's hilarious. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Taxidermy. Tragedy strikes. The Finch family on. Celebration turns to. Dragon kills Finch. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, paper shark. Pretty cool. So I got everything over there. Yep, 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 yep. We came in through that window like uh, a boss. Ooh. 
Check out the shag. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Uh, it was a pretty big trace. <laughs> Say the least. Wow, pink walls too. Holy crap, dude. With pink tiles around the sides with white tiles. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It isn't in the last place you looked. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Cool. Wow, is this the secret room? No, 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 no. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Interesting. I'm just wondering, like, who are the space people? Calvin Finch, 1950 to 1951. Woof. Okay. Barbara Finch. Oh, wow, there's lots of pictures up here. burned our couple turns land into a native heaven Milton oh we made our way into another room there's the doggy door one door it's fan of space being an astronaut I knew grandpa Sam had a twin oh it's high school diploma Well, that's pretty crazy. You can get up here. How cool is this? It's like his bedroom's an actual tree fort. To the command center. I guess to the command center we go. that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did.
How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, cool. You can, and he has a cast on. Check that out. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Alrighty, y'all, we are going to take a pause for the cause right here. When we come back, we will finish up young Sam Finch's story. I was worried if he kept going too high and then talking about he flies off the edge of this cliff here. But uh, with that being said, yep, appreciate all love support on the channel. Um, if you enjoyed this bit, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. It definitely helps me understand. It's like, oh, is this something you guys might enjoy? Um, and if you really enjoyed it, uh, a sub definitely helps the channel. Um, and if you do hit a sub, that's uh, hit the notification bell. Because like I said, try to drop two a day every day, uh, three on Saturday. Until then, my friends, I will and I shall. See you on the other side. Peace.